guys, don't go here. And today, let's do some screwdriving work. My favorite. Now, if you're thinking I'm holding the screwdriver on my left hand and that is odd, you have no idea. Because this Pegasus J4 here is crazily odd. Now, this is a Thunderbolt sort device that can house four into a drive on the inside. But you have to dismantle it before you can see the drive. On the bottom here, you see there are five screws. You have to undo them before you can lift the top up. So, let's do it. You can see I'm pretty good at this, even though I'm lefty. So, now the screw are off, you can lift the top up, and voila! Here are the internal drive. Now, you do have to unscrew one more to take a drive out, in case you want to replace it. There you go. The J4 works with any internal drive, both regular hard drive or SSD. Now, the second odd thing about the J4 is the fact that even though it's host 4 internal drive, it does not support RAID 5, but just RAID 0, RAID 1, and JBOB. Basically, all that your Mac open system support natively. You can find all the options to configure the drive by using the disk utility in your Mac operating systems, which you have to use to configure drive before you can use it. Now on the bottom, you see another bay right here. It's not a drive bay, but instead, it's a place where you can replace the fan. Now unscrew this screw right here, and you see you can replace the fan itself. But you don't want to replace this fan, though, because in my testing, it's really quiet. On the front, the J4 comes with an array of blue LED light that show the status of the device. And on the back, you can find two Thunderbolt ports, very standard for a Thunderbolt device, and a power connector, and also a power button. Unfortunately, there is no USB 3.0 port. In my testing, the J4 offered very fast performance. It was also very quiet and cool. Basically, what it has to offer justify its cost, which is $400 without storage, or $800 with two terabytes. And of course, for those who like messing around, like me, the screwdriving work is a bonus. Note that the Thunderbolt cable is not included, though, so you have to get one for yourself. Me, personally, I don't care, because I have a ton right here. But that's, of course, I'm Dong Ngo, and this has been the brief first look at the Primus J4 Thunderbolt short device. Now, for more information, check out the fullreviewasiat.com, and you can always follow me on my Twitter or Facebook, which you should do. Until next time.